craft card making day <laughs> gotta get it right happy world card making day lovely to see you all i'm just trying to see if i can call up my video aha there i am on another device so i can follow along with comments the time is yes we're still just about in card work world card making day i'll get it right in a minute so uh today we've been zooming today with the friends across the pond which has been lovely and it's just so nice to sit down at my craft table and do some crafting now ruth has got a big wheel with all the stamping up colors and she spun it and it came up with these crazy colors that i was absolutely struggling with but i finally <laughs> landed on a design i think if in doubt just come back to what you know so um Right, let's get you in focus. Right, I thought my button would help me zoom in, but Ruth, it doesn't seem to be making any difference <laughs> whatsoever. Oh dear, there we go. Never mind. We shall carry on. Okay, so I've come back to all things, things fabulous, and I'm going to stick in the beauty of tomorrow also for this um, for this particular one sheet wonder that I'm going to make. So starting with, I, with this stamp set, I like to start with the biggest um, stamp. Look, I've got to do it manually. Hi, Galena. Hi, Joanna. Okay, it's just a bit easier to do things manually. Oh, I stopped the zooming in and out thing, so that's a start. And look, I've already got ink on my card. Okay, how is everybody today? Has anybody been crafting? Card making, particularly? Okay, so we're going to create maybe a few bouquets. So I'm going to start with one up here, like so. And do my usual sort of, whoops, it's, I'm going to need to get a mat underneath this, I think. Trying to, to stamp on a craft mat. Galena has been busy stamping. The usual suspects are here, says Janine. Hi Janine again. So it's been lovely to actually see people in person and to actually put faces to names. Most of most people I've seen before, but um, some people I haven't seen their face. So it's just so lovely to actually see who's who and uh, where people are coming in from and all over the world. We've had Australia and America and Canada. It's been lovely and the UK. Okay, so I think I'll just pop another one in this corner, being careful with my stamping. Just stamp that off so I can fit one in here. Okie dokie, I could do with another. There you are. I think it's hiding under the pile of papers. Put another one of these and some of this. Okay. I'm ready to roll. Just get my cheat sheet in front of me so I can see what I'm doing. Then I'm going to use a smaller flower that's in that set. So the, the colours I found are quite tricky. So we've got magenta madness, which I've just used, fresh freesia, garden green. This is my uh, petal pink, granny apple green and cherry cobbler. And I struggled because of the contrast of the really pale, bright colours compared to the sort of really dark colours. So I was just trying to find a way of being able to incorporate them. Now, before I add that flower, I'm just going to add in a centre to these. So this is where the cherry cobbler is going to come in. Just got my thumb in that. Okay, so get my head in there, just roughly match these up. Hi Norma, that's because I'm not usually on this late Norma, <laughs> but it's lovely to see you. So we're going to do second generation stamping because there's enough ink to be able to take it over to this other flower. I'm not actually, if you get your head right over it, you can see what you're doing a bit more, but I don't want to block everybody's view. So I'm just going to do it from here. Now the joy of stamping all over one sheet is you can get to 
chop it all up and then you get, get lots of people enjoying what you've done rather than just one person on one card and it kind of saves you time in the long run okay i'm going to bring in this smaller flower just checking over there what i did last time again doing a bit of second generation and once you've kind of laid down your design and know what you're doing you can just go ahead and repeat it and lay down the initial design and then once you get going you can add the smaller stamps and really kind of go to town with those and fill in any gaps in any areas so i'm coming in now with petal pink so like i said a really wacky kind of combination okay i'm going to leave it there oh no not done this one there we go so all these colors will start toning down a bit especially this petal pink might seem quite bright initially okay now we're going to introduce some leaves got a bit stuck with using these different greens separately so instead of using them differently i'm going to use them together so the stamp sets i'm using are all is this all things fabulous and then in a bit i'm going to introduce beauty of tomorrow let me just see if I can make my. Oh, I'm not too bad. I'm quite clear. Am I? Am I right? Am I coming through clear enough? So I'm going to stamp sort of roughly half in the grand apple, and then the other half in the shaded spruce colour. And again, this is great for that second generation stamping. Just start building in that. Now don't worry if there's gaps because we've got other stamps that we want to use. So by mixing your colours or by half stamping, you get lovely sort of shades going on. It's a lovely way of being able to incorporate two colours in one go. So uh, Ruth has just literally come off um, doing a YouTube, so you can catch what she's made with um, her sheet using the same colours, but a completely different stamp set. And you can join in the challenge yourself, but please do share what you've made over on Artful Stamping and on SSC Inspired and Shared love to see what you've made good evening Subu hi am I missing am I keeping up with comments yes now I know for some of you this is rather late or some of you will be sleeping or not around yet or well in fact most of you are probably sleeping but it's lovely to have the company of those who are here it's just so nice to kind of dedicate a day to crafting sometimes life gets busy with lots of other things doesn't it and it's nice just to to chill to a bit of stamping chatting to friends and just catch up with those projects that you've been meaning to finish <laughs> I'm sure we've all got a stash of that. Who's got a stash of product pro projects and products? Projects that need finishing. Go on, hands up. Janine's been busy cleaning, doing the laundry and cooking. Yeah, those things take over life, don't they? And then the, their necessities. They need doing. But sometimes it's just nice to get back to good old stamping and crafting. I'm just going to bring my pads back on so you can see what I'm doing. I'm literally dipping half of my stamp in one and then the other. This creates a lovely... Oh, I've got a friendly dandy lo long legs which has made its way into my craft room. So you, you might make an appearance later. OK, 
okay just warning you right so now we've got some foliage down i want to extend this a little bit and i'm going to use this little one to start adding some some more color in fact i might add it to there run a bit to here because i've still got something else i want to do Oh, keep going. <laughs> it's the tips of my fingers that seem to find their way. Hi, Kathy. Lovely to see you. And Lily says, I do. Oh, I haven't been able to craft for a couple of weeks now. I'm really missing it. Oh, hi, Cynthia. Hi, Esther. Your piece is just lovely. I love it. Cynthia, I've not even finished, so that's a good sign. <laughs> oh. Let's do a time check. Let me know where you are and what time it is at the moment. So in the UK, we're coming up to 20 past 11 at night. So I am rarely, rarely on at this time. So we're just going to use those um, leaves that I've already done. I'm going to extend them with these little other pockets of flowers that are going to come out of the leaves. This is such a pretty stamp set and it's got about three layers to it, but you don't have to use all the layers in one go. You can use them separately. So with these flowers, I've just used them by themselves. Okay, so let's have a, have a look. I'm just looking at my sheet to see what I want to do next. I'm going to bring in a fresh freesia in Wisconsin. It's 5.20. Oh, in the evening, right? Um, Texas is 5.22, 3.20 in California. So adding that fresh freesia. I'm just seeing, if, is there a colour I've not used yet? I think these are all the colours. But now, what I'm going to do, now that I've um, added the colours in that we are using for the challenge, I'm going to then repeat the colours and extend my bouquets to make it all filled in a bit bigger because if you've noticed I've not introduced the other stamp set yet which I want to bring on and debut Indiana we've got 622 in the evening so most of you would have had your dinners by now I'm guessing okay so let's introduce to you beauty of tomorrow which is this one and i really like the idea of adding some of these sprigs what have i done with this one ah yes i remember <laughs> so i like the idea of using the top of these little flowers so again just partial stamping and have them sort of peeking out these green leaves so although well, look i've missed one Nobody told me. Come on, guys, you've got to be on the ball. <laughs> I'll say, yes, you've missed one. I think that is the only one I've missed. So, yeah, I'm using these to just sort of add to some of these the tops of the green leaves that we did earlier. like they, these are like the berries this is what they look like before they flower and this is a different kind of stamp set it's more of a lined one but it just creates um, another texture to your paper and just brings in this like i said we're introducing those colors all back in again Okay, I think that will do for that one. I've not tried one of these. Oh, I love your piece, says Norma. Thank you. You should give it a go, Norma. So I've got to give my sister credit for this. She kind of, I feel like she's come up with this concept to of the, the this kind of way of stamping with, um, cover, especially with the florals. There she is, Ruth. Um, so please do check out her channel. She's got oodles and oodles of 
papers like this. I have done some and I've got a playlist so you can check that out on my channel too. Okay, I'm just referring to my cheat sheet again. It's really handy if you practice. So if you want to sort of, you know, do a video, sometimes it's nice to practice first. If you, if you feel a bit nervous about it or if you're trying to, you know, just, just do your practice run first. Okay, so I'm going to add in these lovely sprigs of pink. Magenta Madness is the official name. And these are lovely. Just the tips of these just help to extend the bouquet, the bouquets. So I'm just coming in at the corner because it gives me this nice V shape here. So this literally took me about five attempts to try and settle on a design. <laughs> but, um, you know, if all else fails, just come back to your flowers. I did try flowers, but I just didn't, I wasn't feeling it. You know, when you try something, you're like, mm, yeah, that's OK. But and then I thought, you know, just get out what you know. No love and trust, you know, that kind of thing. Hello, Denise. Hi. It's good to see you. Okay, I'll just stick one in there. And one in here. See if it'll do it. Yes. Okay. And what else did I do? I did some of those and some of those. Right. So the colour that's not coming through so much is this petal pink. So we're going to bring the... <laughs> It does remind me of bird poo. I'm not sure what else it's supposed to be, but um, the dots or the spots. But, uh, there we are. <laughs> Forgive me. Forgive me for being so rude. But um, I'm speaking my mind. <laughs> splatters. They're splatters. They're not. They're not poo. get into trouble I'm gonna be quiet now and just keep stamping so using the smaller stamp here to start filling in some of those white gaps so it's all right to have gaps but we're just gonna fill some of those in with our splatter stamp okay just referring to my piece and so I've got the smaller version of you somewhere use that one use that one haven't used this one so we could do some might just come in with just a few maybe let's have a look just a few of these extend some of these leaves not a whole lot but just when because we're going to cut this down we don't want to this bit's quite bare here, so. Try and make it carry on from the existing stem so it don't look too floaty. Hello, Heidi, on the other side of the uh, time zone. <laughs> okay. Is it midnight? Not quite, almost. We're about half eleven. Okay. So now I'm going to add, come back with the smaller version of the this one. Just to fill in those little spaces like here. And here, and maybe tuck one in there, just those kind of niggly, like there, you, right there, and maybe there. I'm gonna cut, I have to come back and find these all now after I've stamped these little spaces, and you there. I'm trying to be, have them in keeping with what I've done already. 
just filling in those gaps. Ah, oh, hi, Reet. I thought you were supposed to be off to bed, Reet. You snuck on. <laughs> Nearly done. Oh. Okay, just one more down here. And now we're going to come back with our fresh freezer. Now I am going to take this off because let's find a block. It's just a bit too dangerous. <laughs> I can see me like spoiling it by just. Okay. And then we're just going to come back and fill in those little babies. You can extend them like, like this. Just keep keep stamping a few. Just add a few in. If you've never tried this technique, it can get rather addictive because once you get stamping, it's just nice just to go with the flow and just go, oh, there's a little bit there. I'm gonna just do a bit there and oh, I'll just do a little bit there. <laughs> Okay, I think, I think, ladies and gents, now there's something missing. Do we know what it is? Who knows what's missing? I've just got to think about what colour I want to do. I'm tempted to do, now I did actually introduce the bird, um, on my previous one but I'm a little bit cautious because if I come to cut this up I don't want the bird to be in the wrong direction so I think I'm going to make the decision to leave the bird dotage but what colour shall we do the dots is the question and which dotage shall we choose I'm thinking where are you gone no that's a bit small some bigger dotage, please. Uh, where have you gone? I just saw you just now. Quiet Meadow is a good size dot here. So um, I've not used a lot of that deep red. I'm just wondering whether somewhere around here, where are you? Where are you, little one? Just check the stamp case in case it's in here. It is in here, phewey. <laughs> Nearly had a moment there, it's okay. I just want to add a bit more of that deep red because I don't really want red spots. So the centre's in the flowers. I, you, I could do that. Yes, I like that idea. That's what I thought earlier actually and then I didn't end up... Is it this one though? I don't, never know quite which way up this goes. Let's have a test. What do we think? Heidi, what time is it? You've been naughty. If you weren't limited in colour, small black. I'm wondering whether to do um, like green, maybe. That one hasn't got any. Okay. I'm thinking maybe the dark green. <clears throat> Let's have a see. Oh, now that I've got this out, that might be nice on here as well. Let's. Oh, come on then. You twisted my arm. 
Let's just see how strong this is going to cover. <laughs> Maria. <laughs> Beautiful. Do you and Ruth share your brains? You are so blessed. Bless you. <laughs> Do you share brains? That is so funny. Now, some people might find this too OTT, like way too over the top. But remember, this isn't going to stay like this. This gets cut down into smaller pieces. So it might look overwhelming, but once it's cut down into a smaller piece, it's a bit less overwhelming. Some of you might think, no, you should have stopped before the text. But you know what? It's OK. You can go do your own. This is my piece of artwork. <laughs> But um, I appreciate people giving thumbs up and comments. If you if you do like my work, great way to just show appreciation is to um, give a thumbs up. Right, I'm going in the green. So I'm trying to be a little bit careful to place it where the green is so it doesn't look completely out of place. And I'm going for second generation stamping so that you get those two tones of green going on. You don't want to overdo the dots necessarily, but they just make a bit of an impact to your final piece. Your thumb is up, thank you, Reed. <laughs> there, I think I am done. I like I told the girls, Ruth, unfortunately, we have to go to lunch. Oh, sorry, I'm reading a comment that's not applicable to me. <laughs> so there we are. Finally got there in the end after trying different ideas. I've got the ideas somewhere. I think they're under here. So do you want to see the other ones? That was one idea. These were a few of the others. And I think, yeah, I had one, two, three, four. I thought I had another idea. That's my cheat sheet. So that would be with the bird in it. But, uh, and this is what we finally got to. So don't give up. Let me tell you, I, I wanted to give up a lot of times, but just keep persevering. Don't beat yourself up. Creativity is very much process. And sometimes you've got to get it wrong a few times to get it right. And that was proven today when um, Heidi, who's watching now, was trying a technique. And she tried and tried and tried until she perfected it. And it looked amazing by the end of it. So it just goes to show. You like the, the second one that I did, my my boo-boo one. But yeah, I'm... I'm I'm pleased now. I'm happy. I can go to bed happy and actually sleep. <laughs> oh dear. Right, I'm going to say a quick hello. Oh, hi Cher. Oh, lovely to see you all. Thank you for hopping on and thank you those who are going to watch on replay. It's been such a lovely day and happy World Card Making Day. Um, it's been so nice to spend it with some of you who are watching today. Uh, take care and God bless. Please do catch me again. I'm usually on on a Tuesday evening, nine o'clock my time in the UK, British summer time. Take care. Lots of love, everybody. Bye for now. <laughs>